XRP 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 The Bulls getting ready to run out the game Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and give me a follow on my Twitter page as well. Let a high vibe ass sets. Let's go ahead and kick off this bullish content. The goal is to help reimagine international finance for a new era. What would it take to protect financial stability? Well, in terms of uh, central bank digital currencies, interoperability uh, we're in a transitional period right now central banks around the globe are transitioning how worried are you that again we're going to see a whole bunch of individual investors who wanted to get in the game really get screwed here and realize they didn't know what they were getting involved with i'm particularly concerned in something called the crypto token crypto is two trillion dollar crypto asset space Cryptos are not currencies, full stop. Cryptos are highly speculative assets that claim their fame as currency, possibly, but they're not. It's not just a question of uh, what the rules are and how they apply. It's who enforces them. If we don't get this right, virtual currencies have the opportunity to blow a total hole in our AML system. As defective as it may be even today, it will become uh, largely meaningless. But we're going to wake up one day in all probability where virtual currencies or some form are going to be a real challenge to fiat currency. And then it's going to be too late to try and regulate it. It will have gotten too large, too global, and will not be subject to regulation. The technology exists today that could vastly lower the cost of provision of financial services, that could improve anti-money laundering efforts, and that could better protect people's privacy and security. That That's there today. I was really trying to solve that cross-border payments problem. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, central bank digital currencies are you know, domestic by, by nature. They're issued by a central bank uh, or potentially issued by a central bank. Uh, Ripple has partnered with several uh, central banks around the world. Some we've announced, some we haven't yet announced, that they're issuing uh, and testing using the XRP ledger to issue their digital assets on the XRP ledger. Welcome back to the show, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, Vibe Assets, back again with another dagger, right? What I'm showing you right here on your screen is exactly the back end protocols of what the new financial system is going to be ran off of. It's kind of a mix between the legacy payment systems and the new blockchain enabled system of what's going to allow the Internet of Things, the interledgers, the Internet of Value of what we're calling it on this channel for these things to actually come into fruition. And there has always been a timeline on a development on a brand new technology. You can't just throw out a technology and tomorrow it's going to be adopted worldwide. Let's go back. Let's take a look at communications, right? And the Internet of Information is one of the best, I would say, forefronts or one of the best you know, avenues to where we can look at and see how time goes by for the development of a brand new technology. Remember back in 1997, 1998, 1999, the 2000s, the dot-com boom, right? And you think about this new thing called the internet. Think about this new thing called email, right? All of the applications and platforms that were built on top of the internet of information. And you remember how it was called at first, right? A scam a scheme, right? You know, most of us, a lot of people think that everything in the world is a scam. Everything in the world is a, some type of a scheme. But what actually happened is with the Internet of Information, within a 25, 24, 23 year span, <laughs> the Internet completely has taken over society, right? You can't even imagine to do anything today without using the internet of information. And one thing, not just about what the internet made things capable for us to do, but think about the amount of products in the use cases 
that are built on top of the Internet of Value. And when you think about it, as slow as things were happening just within a mere year of 20 years go by, ladies and gentlemen, it's taken over the whole damn planet. Right. With everything that we do. If you're living in America, if you're living in a, you know, highly sophisticated country, I know I have listeners in the UK, I have listeners in Australia, I have listeners in South Africa, I have listeners in Asia and Japan, right? Shout out to everybody that's watching the High Vibes channel all the way around the world. Just imagine what life would be like today without the Internet of Information. I mean, we would still be in these ancient times. And think about how fast that this technology has grown, how fast has this technology enabled the world to be able to communicate with each other, just like within a snap of a finger, you can communicate with anybody across the world. When you think about blockchain technology, when you think about distributed ledger technology, it is doing the exact same thing. It's going to transform the world that we've never seen before. Financially, when it comes to money. Take a look at what I'm showing you right here on your screen is a document that was being prepared by Everest and given us exactly what blockchain technology, specifically with XRP and the XRP ledger, with the inner ledger enabling interoperability across all these platforms. And this is from 2020 to 2025, right? Just in the five years time. And if everybody doesn't know and everybody doesn't understand the financial system, ladies and gentlemen, we use is the legacy payment system where we're talking about payments, right? Talking about moving money, the SWIFT system. And most of us, we know a little bit about, you know, these cross-border payments technologies. You know, some of us, we go to Walmart and you go to Western Union to send money. You may go to another financial institution like MoneyGram to send money, right? And you're seeing these neobanks popping up out of nowhere, enabling people to move money at the speed of just an instant, just like sending an instant message, right? Yeah, PayPal, you have uh, Vimo and Cash App and, um, you know, other platforms. But the back end protocols are what's going to enable this Internet of value to actually come into pass. Now, money networks. OK, now, most of us in the United States, we know about the two biggest money networks because, you know, we use these things or we have used these systems before the ACH and the Fairwire system, right? When you're sending money, we understand about ACH. Hey, ACH takes about, you know, three to five days to settle, one to three days to settle. And if you want that instant payment, right, you would use a service called Fedwire. But with each system, there is a lot of fees that goes behind that. And if anybody has sent money through your major financial institutions you understand that just by having that account oh you're going to get hit with some fees most definitely but the same systems of hgh and the wire you have different protocols around the world okay japan great britain right all of these other countries the china companies they have their own ach or fed wire system now let me explain to you how moving money works around the world for people that doesn't know it's not just a you pull out your phone or you pull out your computer and you type in whatever how much you want to send. Right. And you hit the send button and it, act, and it automatically goes there like magic. Nah, <laughs> there are so many things behind the scenes that actually has to happen that this is the reason why XRP is being implemented into the system right now. This is something that we call no strove or accounts. If I'm in the United States. And I want to send money or make a business transaction with somebody in Singapore. And I'm a business and I'm contracted with them. The only way that I can really do business with that entity outside of my financial jurisdiction is I have to have a pre-funded account in the other person's or the other company's native currency and in order for me to do business. But what that means is for my company, let's just say if I have a million dollars worth of Singapore dollar right in a Singapore financial jurisdiction. Hey, that's 100K. Hey, that's a million dollars. Hey, that's three million dollars that I have to have sitting in an account. But just imagine if there was a mechanism, just imagine if there was a technology that was enabling financial freedom, OK, financial inclusion, interoperability 
So I can take that one million, three million, five million, put it back into my company's account to help bring down these cost of fees, put in more money into my company and being able to move and have more motion in the economy than we need right now. This is exactly the reason why blockchain technology and specifically XRP and the XRP ledger is going to take over the damn world. OK, and this is a back end system. Right. And when you take a look at this chart, it shows you the ways and the different products to where XRP is going to be used. When you take a look at this chart and you see all of the money transfer systems, when you push that money out. It's going to go into the Interledger Protocol, okay? The ILP, the Internet of Value, per se. And it, all of these currencies are automatically transferred into XRP in the XRP Ledger, which immediately takes away the Nostra Vostra accounts. We have $50 trillion stored up in Nostra Vostra accounts right now. That capital needs to be put back into the economy. You've seen interest rates spiking up. You've seen inflation you know, just ripping people apart, the price of food, the price of utilities and the price of energy. A lot of that is due to the old legacy payment systems. So much capital and so much money is sitting on the sidelines that can be injected back into the economy so we can get things back going on a normal pace. These currencies automatically being switched over to XRP on the XRP ledger, going back into the interledger protocol, being sent to these central banks and these central banks can pay out their customers like it's nothing in seconds for less than a penny. This is the reason why XRP is the most valuable digital asset ever created because it solves a real world use case in real time for real customers. Now, when you're talking about platforms, you know, who's actually going to be using this technology? What companies are really on board? Who knows about this technology? Who is putting out statistics? Who is putting out their, you know, reports? Who's actually going to use this? And every single phase of finance is already signed up and has already been using and piloting distributed ledger technology. Look, if you want to get into an investment, one thing that I was told by a prominent investor is great investors invest in protocols that will soon be implemented worldwide. Blockchain and distributed ledger technologies. You got the Hyperledger Fabric Foundation. You have R3 and Quarter Digital Asset Holdings. You have the Ethereum Foundation and others. Capital markets. First of all, I want to talk about the DTCC. We understand the relationship between Ripple and the DTCC, which moves, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, two point six quadrillion dollars per year. Absolutely outrageous. That are going to be ditching the legacy payment system, the system that we use now and upgrading into the blockchain systems. Trade finance, SAP, you have IBM and Oracle, right? Large companies, trillion dollar holding companies, the Internet of Things, Intel, Apple, Android, Tesla. Look, if you're using a mobile phone, mobile payments, mobile anything, you probably have an Apple or an Android device, right? These are the largest institutions in the world already backing Ripple and XRP and distributed ledger technology. Payments and platforms, Apple Pay, Android Pay, PayPal Pay, Square, Alipay. I mean, my God, ladies and gentlemen, these are see when you're talking about a brand new technology coming in and being implemented worldwide. This is not just one company giving the green thumbs, not just one company recognizing the benefits of the technology, but these are all of the largest trillion dollar financial institutions worldwide payment platforms acknowledging that the interledger protocol blockchain ripple and xrp are a major player in this space marketplaces amazon right ebay right airbnb tesla uber netflix google microsoft facebook <laughs> I'm telling you something, ladies and gentlemen, you see, there are a lot of investments that's out there, man, that they're going to tell you that these things are sure. There's a lot of investments out there that, hey, this is going to work. And we're not saying that. Look, 
these things are 100%. But I'm telling you something, ladies and gentlemen, about Ripple and XRP. The largest institutions financially in the damn world. They're getting tired of all of these fees. They're getting tired of holding their capital in Nostro Vostro accounts. They're tired of laying off their employees because they don't have enough capital inside of the system. XRP is solving a real world use case worldwide and everybody in the damn world want to get their hands on XRP. Real talk. That's exactly what it is, ladies and gentlemen. In 2024 is the year of the utility bull run. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button every time it's bullish. Going back to the vault with this one, ladies and gentlemen. When I'm talking about thinking about the big picture and seeing exactly where these digital assets actually line up on the scale. Look, I understand that some of these digital assets, they're priced right here today. They're at these type of prices. Some of these digital assets are at astronomical prices. I understand that. But when you're talking about moving forward and building out the technology and adopting the technology, which ones are actually going to be used? Who has actual real world utility? Look, when you think about it and understand it, I'm talking about an institutional level. Who's using these technologies? If you are invested into other digital assets, that's the first question that you need to be asking yourself, man, is who's actually using it? Not about what sounds good, not about the price and the market supply and all of this stuff that we believe that goes into the price of some of these assets when you're talking about utility who is using that digital asset that should let you know right there if the asset is going to be adopted or it's going to burn to smithereens take a look at what i'm showing you right here on the screen family going back in the vault for this one i love pulling out this illustration look when you're talking about numbers you're talking about different values. We understand that these numbers have actually grown over the years. This is from back in 2018. Showing this type of information back then get got you ridiculed, okay, outside of the XRP community. Now people are starting to understand that this is actually true. This is what I want the people to really realize. One, I want you to realize how much money that it is in the world, right? When you're talking about money, what is money? Well, it's a anything that is a value of exchange, anything of value, debt, real estate, cash, coins, derivatives, stocks. You could continue to go commodities, bonds, corporate governments. You know, all of those things are considered money, right? So think about it like that. Then think about the use cases of actually using that money having it being tokenized and it being distributed on a distributed ledger. Hey, that asset that's moving it, it has to be battle tested. It has to have institutional grade pilots to make sure that it can actually do these things. And XRP fits the bill. You're talking about pilots from central banks that we know about partnerships, acquiring different companies that are using their technology plugging into RippleNet's API for crypto custody, tokenization of gold. This is bigger than what you imagined. Ladies and gentlemen, XRP is dominating the crypto market right now. $2.7 quadrillion when you're talking about just a global transfer market. You hear me talking about this Nostro Vostro account a lot, right? Because it's $30 trillion of parked capital that can't fluctuate and flow like capital is supposed to. That's why you call it liquidity. Every term that you have for money, it's based on water because water is money. It flows. You have a $27, $30 trillion clog in the system that needs to be released. Okay, how are you going to release it? What is going to be the product that comes behind it and make sure that you don't have this clock again because the legacy payment system couldn't do it, right? Or else it wouldn't be here. This is a major problem, right? Major problem. This is $30 trillion of assets of cash, capital, 
whatever that these companies want to convert this to. And what a no show of account is, it's literally you have to park capital in other currencies if you do international exchanges. With the on-demand liquidity product being powered by the secret sauce of XRP, you essentially eliminate this $30 trillion clock that we have in the system right now puts all of that equity essentially inside of the XRP ledger. Now you can operate and use these funds as freely as you need. And one, one thing that I want the people to really understand about $30 trillion, right? That's millions of dollars on top of that. When you're talking about annual fees, they're going to get their piece of the pie. We understand that Swift is a major international money mover you know everything pretty much goes through swift and we've heard from several swift representatives on this channel played videos you know go back and watch the videos if you are a new subscriber for people that love to ask about sources and stuff you know we cover these things we have the videos we cover the documents swift xrp is operating on their system as a currency as a bridge currency right so to make sure that all of those transactions are instant in seconds for less than a penny in any other financial jurisdiction, in any currency, in any value, value agnostic. This is groundbreaking, okay? This propels humanity into the future. No more of the system to where that, hey, it's impossible to go out and go and make a dollar. It's impossible to go out and change your life investment wise. Also with artificial intelligence investments as well. Those are out there. Check out the company Algo Pair, right? All of these things are essential to us and are available to us right now, all because of the Amazon of crypto stepped up. They took on the SEC. Look, all of these other digital asset companies, bro, they folded. We saw it live in action. Settlement cracking 30 million block five settlement 100 million dollars. Are you kidding me? They took library down to the dirt. Other digital asset phase one companies went down in the dirt. NFT platforms getting sued by the SEC. The Amazon or crypto was the only one that stepped up and fought all the way for this entire industry so we can continue to keep pushing. You think XRP is not the number one digital asset in this space? You have to be out of your mind. If it wasn't for the Ripple team, if it wasn't for XRP, there would be no crypto in the U.S. Best believe that, you know, because the incumbents and the regulatory regime and structure that they have and how it's set up, the monopoly scheme, not a level playing field. They get to make billions and trillions and pass down us retail investors is pennies. You have to understand, ladies and gentlemen, this $30 trillion clog right here, what it's going to do is it's going to release into the system and it's going to grow and it's going to continue to multiply into a hundred trillion and 300 trillion quadrillions, right? This is the time period in humanity. You're about to see the first trillionaire, okay? This is the time period in humanity to where more billionaires and more millionaires, there will be an influx of economic opportunities inside of the world as we know it today. Ripple and XRP is leading the way of the fourth industrial revolution. Thanks for everyone tuning in to today's show. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section as well. This is not financial advice, and I'm not a financial advisor, but tell everyone around that the bulls are getting ready to run out the damn gates. XRP, 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 the bulls getting ready to run out the gates.